Side G, welcome back to another episode of David Parody Plays. Now, if you're watching this video, it's a very special one because right now I'm time traveling. Future David is in Japan, and I'm filming this before I go to Japan because I want to show you guys what I am packing to make my Japan vlogs. I think it'd be cool for you guys to see what I'm bringing along. It's a lot different than if I were to film videos here in Ottawa because I need to worry about filming in loud places. I need to worry about different outlets because Japan is different from Canada, but not actually really bad. <laughs> but I just have to take into account more things because I'm out and about I could be out for an entire day So I need to worry about battery memory cards and all that good stuff So now this is gonna be the best vlogging setup for me in 2019 It could change next year and it might not even work for you But I think this is good like this is really easy very simple You're not carrying freaking 20 pounds of camera gear like this is a light 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 Alternative. I'm just your basic filmer that wants to capture my trip So if you fall in the same boat, then maybe this will help you if you don't and you want like more like cinematic views of like professional movie shots well <laughs> You came to the wrong place! The boy does not have that type of gear! This is all I'll need for my Japan trip, including this camera right here. The Canon G7X Mark II, which I've been using for like four years. Beg my pardon, don't look at my feet, they're gross. Uh, okay, we'll start with my 2015 MacBook- Hey, hey! Rogan! Okay, okay, okay. My 2015 MacBook Pro. Yo, man, take it easy. This MacBook right here, guys, I love it. It has never let me down. I mean, the memory could be a little bit higher, but besides that, it's made hundreds of videos, barely any issues, if any. Very trustworthy. I use Final Cut Pro X on it, and yo, it's just really quick. The rendering, all that shit, I love it. I can't live a day without my laptop. Like, this is my go-to everything. Along with that, we have the power cord right here. Uh, it's stain. Is that a coffee stain or a blood stain? I don't know. Okay, let's move on. Next up, we have the plug bug, as you can see right here. With all the attachments, because when you're traveling to different countries, different places, they have outlets that don't work with your appliances. So that's why I bought this from the Apple Store. So with this, you can pretty much charge your shit anywhere you go in the world. It makes it very easy because you literally just take this part off. Like here, you just slide it up. Hold on, let me give you guys a visual representation. Ah! Like that, and then you just put a different one on, and then you can attach this to your MacBook, like take this part out and put it on this, so you can charge your MacBook wherever you are in the world, and also, this is the greatest feature ever, two USB ports, so you can charge your phone, you can charge whatever you need, you just need a USB. Obviously, you don't need to bring all these, just wherever you're traveling, pick the one that you're gonna use, and then store all this at home. So moving on to this part of my setup, this is what I'm gonna use when I know I'm gonna film outside or like somewhere noisy. I need to use these lav mics, which is the Zoom H1N, and then attached to that, I have the actual lav mic right here, which is from Rode, the Rode Smart Lav Mic. There you go, it's really good quality. It captures good sound when it's really loud around you. So you definitely need this if you're trying to vlog in a restaurant, anywhere that's loud. If you're relying on the onboard mic of the G7, 7x mark 2 euro like you're gonna catch so many sounds around you and the audio is just not gonna sound good so for my japan vlogs which you'll see over on the main channel david parody i'll be using this setup which is basically a zoom h1n as you can see down here we got the road mic attached but if you buy this setup make sure you buy this piece right here this piece that connects to the smart lab it doesn't come with the mic, okay? This is, this is very important. I got a headache trying to find this, but I will link it down below. You need to have this cord right here. It's like some TTRSR to, to whatever to connect the, the mic to the H1N so that it can work together. In a perfect world, I would want this to just automatically work when I plugged it into this, but nope, that can't happen. You need to have this little wire. This might be overkill having this many batteries, but I like to just be extra prepared. Like if I can't record audio, my video's done. So like, it's good to have this just in case. Next up, we have my latest purchase from DJI. This is what I'm gonna use to get nice cinematic shots. Such a small camera. Guys, it fits in the palm of your hand, and look at this. Turn it on. Boom, 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 boom. And it's ready to go. It gets nice shots, bro. It shoots in 4K, too, which is amazing. Look, and it follows your face. If I move over here, it'll move. Like, it's crazy. If you want to see an in-depth review of this, let me know. But I think this is one of the best vlogging cameras you can get right now. The audio on the Osmo Pocket, I will say, is worse than the G7X, so... 
Maybe you gotta use the lav mic, you know, combine both of them, or just suffer a little bit of audio because it's not as good. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It sounds good for the person holding the camera, but when you're recording someone in front of you or something, it's not as good. Then over here, we just have a lot of wires to attach to all this stuff. You guys know USB, micro USB wires, and this one is naughty. Look at this one. This is a latest pickup. I didn't even know this. This is called like a male input or whatever and then these are females you, you know why because like the male and then it goes into the i didn't know that it's very naughty but this i can listen to music i can put it into my ipad and then it splits into two ports right here and then two people can watch a movie together listen to the music so you don't have to like share an earbud you know like i think this is very handy amazing purchase it was like what four dollars or something not bought it off amazon by the way moving down here we got the batteries and the memory cards right here i have some case i got off of amazon of course this is like I think this is $14, and pretty much I just carry my micro USBs in here, and then my readers, and then more SD cards. You can drop it, you're not going to break your memory cards. And I like this because you can probably still even put an SD card here. Like, you can carry bare SD and micro SD cards. I love this thing, because before I used to carry these in an individual, like, um plastic containers and I would lose them all the time but now this is big you know I'll never lose it it's vabs then here we just have the G7X batteries I have three batteries including this one that I'm using right now and then two chargers for um, quick charging this guy right here shout out to the anchor very very probably the most important thing to have when you're traveling and making vlogs is an external battery pack because you never know when all this shit is gonna die and you want to have this to charge up your stuff because that can completely ruin a day if you have to go back to the hotel and charge your stuff up and wait and then waste time and you're over. So this one is a 26,800 whatever power. I think it charges the phone like a gajillion times. The only thing I'd mention is it is very heavy. So it's not something light and you will definitely notice when you're carrying it around. It's kind of big too, like bigger than my hand. I got this one because you got three USBs and two micro USBs so I could be charging three iPhones. So this is an amazing purchase this was like $70 off Amazon maybe 80 I can't remember but if you're paying over a hundred don't buy it like under a hundred it should be a good power bank next up I have my things I listen to my music and I edit my videos on this my airpods I use to listen to the music the battery life I've noticed when you're on like FaceTime calls or something it lasts like an hour and ten minutes and then it's dead but when you listen to music it lasts a lot longer like four hours five hours which is vab so I definitely use these on the planes I got the Bose uh, quiet comfort 35s. I don't know the name of it, but it's the old one. It's still wired, but they work perfectly, so I don't need to upgrade yet. They have been through a lot. Like, as you can see, I'm going to show you in a second. But this piece right here, the end of it, was outside of the car, dragged on the road for like 10 minutes straight. Ew, it's been through a lot. Luckily, these like prongs here, they haven't been damaged and I could still hear out of them. But I'm telling you, when I saw this the first time, I was crying. Like, these are expensive. They're not cheap, you know? And these are what I use to edit my videos. Now, this is a new purchase for me. It's a fanny pack. Your boys, I have to do it. Like, I don't care if I look silly, but I don't want to be carrying around a heavy backpack when I'm out and about for like eight hours a day. So this is where I'm going to carry like pretty much these two, the, this thing, um, the G7X and... I don't know how this is gonna fit in here, but we're gonna we're gonna see if it does But it's around my waist. I'll have my money and everything inside this so I don't have to like take my backpack off and open it every two seconds Like I could just quickly zip it right here And take what I need and zip back up and we Gucci my tripod because you never know when you're gonna need one You can just set it up in the hotel or whatever get your shot I've had it for years and it looks like anal beads. Okay next we have the DJI um, Mobile 2 or some shit. I bought it for like a hundred and eighty dollars two months ago I used it three times and I never use again I just wanted to show you guys that's not even coming with me finally this is the bag that just came in today and I'm so excited because let me show you guys this shit I'm gonna put pretty much everything organized into this bag because when I travel I like to travel light and bright okay and just keep 
smiling. Yo, Amazon needs to freaking sponsor me, bro. I, I've said their company like a thousand. Yo, shout outs to freaking that lady. She just became the fourth richest girl after divorcing Jeff Bezos. But this bag is good because it is gonna carry a lot of this stuff. So right here, the first layer, you're gonna put your wires. You get this elastic thing. It really just keeps the wires in. Like, let me show you guys. Take this. Okay, this is hard to do with one hand, but stuff it in there. Boom. And it's secure, it won't go anywhere. You can do that all along here. And then down here, these are bigger ones. So I'm thinking maybe I can put the this pocket thing here. And then right here, you have a compartment that you can literally like, you can make into whatever shape you want, but it came like this and it looks pretty nice. So I could put like my memory card here. I can put whatever those in here. Like I'm gonna try to fit everything and I'll come back and I'll show you guys how I organized it. And just like that, I have packed everything up. This is obviously empty. I'll probably put my passport, my wallet and all that stuff there. These headphones have a nice case. So we can do that. And then this is the only thing that couldn't fit in this. This is so bulky and big. Maybe Apple, you can reduce it a little bit. Let me show you guys the first layer right here. Boom. We got all the wires nicely organized. Down here we have both of the lav mics and the Osmo Pocket. We have the plug bug. And if you know where you're going, just put that one there and like you can leave the rest at home. As I said before, I have the, the batteries for these two mics right there and as well as my AirPods. Moving on to the bottom layer. Guys, get ready, this looks amazing. Check that organization out. We got the memory cards. The charger, the power bank fit perfectly here, so I didn't leave it up here. Oh my god, this is actually empty right now. Yo, I could probably put maybe this in here. But honestly, I, I might just save it, you know. I'll find something else to put in there right now. And then in this compartment, I have both the lav mics. I don't want to stuff them into here and, like, cause it to maybe like break or something so they deserve their own compartment and over here i took the tripod the joby apart you got the three legs here it fits perfectly in this compartment and then this the g7x will go like once the lens turns out it will fit perfectly right there all in all i think this bag is amazing pretty compact and i think a lot of you guys would find it useful for the people who actually have like not that much equipment but you still want to you know keep it organized keep it looking neat it also has a handle so you can carry it and bro it's not even heavy i have everything in here and it's vibes so that is my best vlogging setup for now, 2019 for my Japan vlogs. Go over to the main channel. I am posting a lot of videos while I am there. And if you live in Japan, let me know. Comment down below if I should have a meetup or where I should try. If you have any if you have any recommendations on where I should eat. Give this video a like if you found any of it helpful or you found it entertaining or if you found it not helpful. Just click the like button. Thank you so much, guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.